about that, but oh, I think there's a that. technical problem in the middle of all that. Uh, and uh, anyway, David, we were reliving, David, good morning to you. We were reliving the, the highlights, not that uh, people of a certain age need much uh, remembering or reminding of those. Uh, those were the good times. How are you these days? How are things? Absolutely wonderful, thank you. Uh, 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 uh. But how are they really? They're actually really wonderful. Thank you very much. Do you know, uh, there's someone in our, con our country whose name is uh, Trump. Yeah, and he's declared bankruptcy four times. I just did it to reorganize because I'm in the middle of a divorce, but my life is pretty fantastic. Thank you very much. Well, we're glad, we're glad to hear that. And how hard was it for you, David, to declare bankruptcy? People have watched your career, all your fans over all the years, and you know, people assuming you know, you've made lots of money, it's probably well invested. How difficult was that to so publicly have to declare yourself bankrupt? wasn't difficult at all. I got um, my advice from my attorneys who said, this is the opportunity you have as you're going through a divorce, which in the state of Florida, it's 50-50. So it's just reorganizing, that's all. Okay. Does that mean that uh, you will be able to live off the money you've, you've cashed in on, you'll be able to pay off your debts and come out the other side? I, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you're asking me about my debts. Well, you're bankrupt. No, when you declare bankruptcy in this country, it's something that you do in order to reorganize what you have, your assets, etc. So I'm not going to discuss that. We're talking to you. You're, you're in your. Uh, are you just? Are you just here to? Are you here to rubbish me? No, is that, is no, that no, 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 the no, no, but I'll tell you what we're here to do. We're here to inquire our world superstar, once the man who was the best paid man in the world, the envy of every other man on the planet, and his journey, and what he's come through. And you have come yeah, through I, a I lot, still, my friend. You've come through a lot. Yes, I have. And I still have fantastic assets. Of which some of your fans are some of those assets. No, what? Your fans would be what are you some. Asking me then? Your fans. How we're saying? How supportive have your fans been? We've got a huge fan base around the world, and particularly here in Britain. So, how supportive have your fans been through this somewhat difficult journey? Well, it's a difficult journey when you're going through a divorce, is it not for anyone? Of course, and it's more and difficult. It's a difficult so journey publicly. When, when, wait, 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 wait. Don't interrupt me. Okay, when you're trying to separate your assets over 25 years, mm -hmm. you must do what is necessary. And that's what's necessary. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. So what are you up to now? What am I up to? I'm in the, I'm in the middle of recording two EPs. And what's difficult for me with this uh, transaction that we're doing here is that it's very, I hear echoes, yeah. and it's very difficult to concentrate. Yeah. But I'm doing um, a, a Christmas EP, and I'm also doing um, songs my father taught me. So and David, will you be touring at all? I know your fans here in the UK always love to see you on tour. Will you be coming here? Probably not, uh, unless, uh, uh, the problem is that there is a 20% um, foreign entertainers tax, and with everything else that it costs to go there, no, I don't think so. I'd love to, but I ended up making $630 the last time I went there. So, didn't make a lot of sense, but I love my fans there have been incredible, and I love them. I mean, they've been sensational. So I, I guess I'm going to have to do it just via the internet. 
Uh, David, we were speaking to you from your home, or what was your home, which you've had to auction this week. Was that a, a sad thing to do? Will you leave that with uh, happy memories, sad memories? No. No. I understood it's part of, it had nothing to do with um, declaring bankruptcy because that was a totally separate issue. I am doing it because I'm in the middle of a divorce with my ex-wife and um, that's the only reason I did it okay. and it's still in the process of, they're still bidding so I don't know what's going to happen. Okay. If you had one of your songs to sum up the mood that you're in at the moment, would it be Daydreamer, How Can I Be Sure? What? Could it be Forever? Cherish? Uh, if you had one of your, your old hits that would sum up your mood at the moment, which one would you choose? Are you still a daydreamer? <laughs> if you're not a daydreamer, you haven't got any imagination. And you've plenty of that, have you? Sorry? You've plenty of imagination still. I certainly do, yeah. I'm still writing and I'm still playing and I'm doing concerts over here in the US and it's fantastic for me. Well, it's good to talk to you, David, and, um, and we're glad you're staying positive and happy through everything you've been through. Thanks for talking to us here on this of morning. Of course I am. Of course I am. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. God bless you. Of course he is. God bless you. Um, so there you are. Interesting. It's interesting. His great rivals in the, uh, in the 70s, Donny Osmond. I wonder, does he ever look at him and ask, uh, how did Donny hold it all together for, for so long? It's, yeah, it, it's very hard when people are going through a divorce so publicly. Mm. I mean, I get that. It's hard for anybody, but so publicly it's very difficult. But David's know. gone through more than that. I mean, yeah. He's been arrested three times yeah. for being drunk under the influence, for instance. Yeah, and, uh, he's definitely but he had says he's troubles. in a very good place. Folks, we only put the questions. It's up to them to answer them. So. All the Cassidy fans out there after 40 years or, or whatever, we only ask the questions. How he answers them is up to him.